Good night, Chris. How are you going? How, any, any, any message for you for your, your supporters and your subscribers, sir? I'm, I'm happy to be outside. How does it feel to be out tonight? Feels good. Feels good. I, I have faith that uh, the justice system will do me right. I am happy to be released. Those were some of his words as he left the court. He was released on a thousand, hundred thousand Trinidad and Tobago currency and his passport was taken so that he cannot travel, of course. So just read the article as we continue. And happy Madaraka Day. <laughs> Happy Madaraka Day, although soon, soon I'll be having another citizenship, really, like, I just want to be visiting home like, like a tourist, <laughs> to say, and just because my parents live there, so, yeah, but maybe later in future, if they want to come over, where I'll decide to, to live, yep, that will be good, so, happy Madaraka Day to my first country, Kenya, okay? Dim Wango is currently in uh, Grenada. Is that how we pronounce the country? Yeah. So if you remember there was a time, the video, just the, my previous video, I shared what he, what he had to say about Christmas list arrest. And uh, of course, a lot of you were so surprised, but uh, personally, it didn't come out as a shock because that is a, you cannot change that about her. Of course, if you've watched her for a while, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the tingle. So she's currently in uh, Grenada and there was something that uh, I was so shocked when he came out here to say this. Guys, it's not as you think. It's not the way you think. It's not the way you think. Guys, it's, it's, it's not how you think. It's crazy. It's deep than that. It's deep than that, you know? So who do you think a common person like the is? What? <laughs> because the family previously had come out here to claim that, the, anyone, of course, anyone, the public should come out here and make some noise, you know? For the, just petition for Christmas list release, but for her to say this, Hey, it was so shocking, but I think she was just justifying her <laughs> silence. And of course, she's already doing too much in Grenada already. And of course, we'll uh, we'll talk more about Mayugno and uh, Masuba one because on the previous videos we talked about Mayugno. He came out here to claim that he'll he'll be arrested in two days, but of course he was lying because <laughs> he's still doing his videos. As usual. And for Masubo one, just an update from the previous video. He got arrested, but of course he was released on a, on a bail. But um, we'll talk about Hayamarwa, we'll talk about everyone in that, uh, in that YouTube village. So, are you ready for this video? Because I am. Let's start. So welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence. Just spending your time with us, it really means a lot. And of course, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here and uh, like the video over here. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video, your agreements, what you disagree, agree. Of course, your additional points. Just feel free in the comment section, as always. And of course, I have to thank my people for always sharing your thoughts in the comment section, liking the videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And of course, without forgetting, what? Thank you. Thank you so much for 700 subscribers. So thank you so much for each and every one of you who made this milestone possible. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate you. I just appreciate you so much. So let's start with uh, Mayugno. If you remember the other day, I think it was uh, two or three videos before this one. He came out here to claim that he will be arrested in two days. Like what? <laughs> of course, if you remember, we said that he was lying. And yeah, that is, that is what he was doing. Of course, I think he was just doing that for views, for seeking sympathy seeking donations for whatever yeah i think it was for donations because he wanted funds for a lawyer and uh that was it that is the game in that village if it's not activating donations it's seeking sympathy is just doing anything for money so that was it he was lying because he's out here doing his videos he didn't even update anyone about the court's proceedings about the arrest he was saying though it was a lie 
you can imagine how someone can lie for money <laughs> it's not easy it's not easy looking for money out here because what he even cried talk about crocodile tears he cried short to break i feel so emotional about that I, in a few days i'm going in the prison tomorrow for nothing can you imagine it's almost i think a week since he came out here to say that he'll be arrested is it for a month what that is that is my yugno for you the first i saw your comments and uh we talked about it and as i always say if you just watch the videos and you don't check the comment section you really miss out because you will enjoy the comment section like you'll just enjoy and of course we talk about it in the comment section this is just an icing on the cake because the comment section is something else so let's talk about uh Masube and Ankomo. If you didn't watch my previous video, you might want to go and check it out because we talked more about it. Basically, Ankomo was out here stalking hey, Masuba one about uh, about uh, congrats ma Masuba one all these issues regarding to Masuba one, and uh, he was arrested. And if you remember that video, something that I forgot to highlight. Let's watch. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about it because on that part, that part, if you don't understand Swahili, and Komo say that money talks, let's see. That is what he told Masubo. And according to me, according to me, it is the same thing that he's talking. Money is talking because if you just uh, think about it, personally, personally, this is my opinion. I don't think there is anything, there is anything to charge Masubo with. I know if you if you're a fan of Masubo one, you might not agree with this, but what did he do? Of course, we are not talking about our perspective on what Masubo is doing. We are not talking about it because the issue was Winnie's dad contacted Masubo for an interview, and of course, Masubo came out here to look for to ask for opinion. Should he move forward with the interview or not? And of course, a lot of people told him not to, and he did. What is the crime? I don't see it. Of course, I honestly don't think there is anything. I'm so curious to know what, what are the charges because allegedly he left his phone with the police officers. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> for what? I don't know. I just think that uh, Uncle Mo did what, what he said they'll be doing, using money to talk. And of course, it's so shameful. This is season 8, episode 10 of Exposing <laughs> My Country, unfortunately, because, hey, of course, for money to talk, that's enough to tell you that it's corruption, period. Yeah, it's corruption. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Let's leave our opinion on what Masubo is doing out here. Anything that you hold against Masubo 1, just put it aside. We are not talking about our opinion regarding to anything that Masubo does. Let's just focus on his arrest. Let's talk about it in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think he was arrested and is being taken to court for no reason? Let's talk about it in the comment section because personally I don't see the reason for that. So that is it about Masubo and Ankomo. And of course David Jr. came out here with a video. I don't know what he meant about that because we still can't find the reason why Masubo is going through all this. I don't see the reason, honestly. But of course let's give it time. And we'll get to know more. Maybe there is something that we don't know. But if it's all about everything that has been put out here, I don't see the reason. But of course, as I said, let's talk about it in the comment section. Let's talk about Jamaican wannabe. But if you watch her latest video, I think someone advised her because she's appreciating where she comes from. Because you'll notice that she tells everyone that she comes from Kenya, Mama Africa, this and that. But uh, initially she would come out here to claim that she's from Jamaica. I think someone advised her to stop, to stop all that. But I think it's not even advice from anyone. I just think that uh, she saw the comments in her comment section because some Jamaicans were coming for her. Like, what do you mean? You come from Kenya. And of course, as we always say in these streets, it doesn't give her a good picture because for you to denounce your country and go ahead and defame your country, going ahead to defame your country, it tells a lot about you. So I think that is the reason why she's coming out here to claim where she comes from. Or maybe she watches these videos, I don't know. So let's watch what Dimwango had to say about Chris must list a rest. Chris is a very good friend of mine. And if only I had power, okay? If I had power, 
I could take him out of there, but I'm I'm just so powerless. What can I do? Like to be honest, just to think about it. What can I do? Only God is in control about that. Me, there's nothing I can do. No? What do you think about that video? Because personally, I think she was just looking for a reason to excuse her behavior, to excuse what she did after all this because a lot of people were posting like free Christmas list or something and if you remember the family came out here to ask the public to make some noise for him to be released but for Deep Wango to come out here and say this hey, it's so shocking like what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? let me know what you think about her reaction because a lot of people were dragging her like why are you silent? why are you silent? you're a false friend you're a pretender you don't wish you don't wish him well because you'd agree with me that you'd expect someone like Dimwango Ayamarwa, you know, to come out here to petition for his release, to make something, you know, to to post something on their social media, but they didn't do that for whatever reason. They maintained their silence. I don't know why. But of course Dimwango is going through it. She's being dragged. So of course we talked about Coco Girl. She's the only person who we know to champion for his release. So that was it. I was just coming out here to give you an update over Mayugno, the Masubo, and uh, Dimwango and Ankomo. That was it for today. It was just an update. So let me know what you think about this video. What you agree, disagree, everything, just feel free in the comment section. And of course, we'll interact with in the comment section. So once again, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here. Like the video over here. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, if you've watched to this point and you've not liked the video, I think I deserve the like because it means you enjoy the video. So until the next video, peace. Bye.